of Ari Ghani and Hotep family. This is Asad Malik. I'm the editor of PanAfricanAlliance.com and I want to talk to you today about how to expand your black consciousness by understanding the five elements of your life. Now, this is a recording of the article by the same title that we published at uh, PanAfricanAlliance.com forward slash five dash elements. I'm doing this because if you're like me, it can be a little hard to read a 3000 word long article and it's a lot easier to just listen to the article while you're doing your thing. And so that's why I'm recording these for you. And this isn't going to be just me reading off the article to you. I might add a little flavor to it. I'll add my commentary. I'll add some beats to it. So uh, that will uh, make the, the, the material a little more interesting for you. It'll make it easier for you to absorb and you're still going to get 100% of the information. With that being said, I still need you to go to to panafricanalliance.com forward slash five dash elements or just do a search over on the site for five elements that way you'll see all the resources that i'm referring to you'll see all the graphics all the images and uh, i'll also give you links to tools that'll help you to go a little bit deeper into this body of knowledge if you so choose to do so so again this is how to expand black consciousness by understanding the five elements of your life now before i get into what the five elements are let's talk a little bit about what black consciousness is black consciousness is four things it's a knowledge of who you are how you came to be the world around you and your place in that world all right so it's out of that definition that we get the concept of the five elements of life this is a concept that we created right here at the pan-african alliance so there are five elements that make up everything that you are, everything that you were, and everything that you will be in the future. There's nothing about you, family, that falls outside of these five elements of life. They make up your entire existence in this universe. That's why it's so important for you to overstand your five elements of life. So what are the five elements? They are the physical element, the metaphysical element, the career and academic element of your life, your resources element, and your relationships element. So those are the five elements. I challenge you to give me any part of your existence that falls outside of those five elements. If you can think of anything, add a comment. But before I go deeper into those five elements, we need to talk about why overstanding these five elements of life is so important to you on your journey into gaining knowledge of self. And here's why. There are more resources than ever before on the subject of black consciousness, right? Books, websites, YouTube channels, videos, podcasts. And that's not always a good thing because it's easy for the new initiate to feel overwhelmed. In fact, there have been a lot of people in this community who have been searching for years and they get exhausted with all the information. They get information overload before they get to the knowledge that they were seeking in the first place. So instead of you just diving in and collecting up a bunch of books and knowledge and filling up your YouTube playlists, I want you to focus on developing your Nia first. Your Nia, and by the way, Nia is a Kiswahili word, which means purpose, all right? Your life's purpose. Develop that first and use that as a guiding light for developing the five elements of your life. So that gives you the ability to filter out information that is not relevant to you and pay attention to the information that is. For instance, let's say that your life purpose, your Nia, is to build generational wealth. Well, you're going to pay attention to information that will help you fulfill that purpose. All right. That means political information might not be relevant to you. It might be interesting, but it won't help you fulfill your purpose necessarily. And that is, of course, unless you're living in a, a communist nation and they're all about, uh, you know, collecting up and redistributing wealth. But that's a whole other topic. Right. The point is you collect and use and pay attention to information based on your Nia. You don't just get into the information and collect up a bunch of books, collect up a bunch of YouTube videos and podcasts because they're interesting. That distracts you from your purpose. And I hope I'm making sense. If I can elaborate a little more, you have questions or you need some help, just leave a comment. But no amount of information is relevant unless you are clear about your life's purpose. We offer courses on developing your life purpose to all of our supporters. They're one of the free benefits you get for your support at panafricanalliance.com forward slash VIP. 
they're recorded so you can take the course on demand you'll get full access to all that information again panafricanalliance.com forward slash vip so by knowing and mastering the five elements of your life you're able to focus only on the information that is most relevant to you all right and you do that again by developing your Nia. So with that being said, let's get into these five elements. The first element of your life is the metaphysical element. So your metaphysical element is everything about you that can't be seen or touched. You've heard us talk about this often if you've listened to other podcasts and recordings. This is called your light body. This is a life force that includes your spirit, your thoughts, your emotions, everything about you that I can't touch, your energy, this is the part of you that transcends physical death, time, and space. So how do you cultivate and understand your metaphysical element? Well, we did a very long article on how to develop your African spirituality, five forms of Afrocentric meditation and how to do them. And um, right here in this article, you know, I offer a few tips. Meditation is mandatory. Spiritual mentorship spiritual mentorship that's finding somebody who might be a little further along this path than you are it doesn't necessarily have to be a priest a preacher or an imam baba ashra kwesi is one of my spiritual mentors along with baba phil valentine you can also develop your metaphysical element through ancestral communion and through affirmations so here are some of the subjects that fall underneath the metaphysical element that you should be studying if this is a part of your nia you should of course be studying african spirituality you should be promiscuous about studying religions don't limit yourself to one because there are elements of truth in all of them and you'll find elements that speak to you in ways that no other religion can but you will miss those if you don't explore those different religions and i hope that makes sense mental health falls underneath the metaphysical element emotional intelligence meditation and transcendence and many other topics that i list on the article second element of life the physical element now this is all of the parts of you that can be touched this is your anatomy your health your strength flexibility physical endurance vitality ability to resist disease the physical element is impacted by of course sunlight the food that you eat liquids that you drink levels and types of physical activity you engage in and the quality of air that you breathe all of those make up the physical element and all of those influence the physical element so in the conscious community we know that the weapons of white supremacy like infection and intoxication have been used to destroy black bodies and so we avoid those substances and behaviors that make us participants in our own demise that's why there are so many topics around veganism uh, uh, yoga herbalism and martial arts in the conscious community because these practices help us actively resist those weapons that have been formed against us so that's the physical element the academic element the academic element is right knowledge that is gained for the sole purpose of achieving your divine purpose in life you express that knowledge through your career, assuming your career is aligned with your life mission. Now, here's what that means. Let me just speak plainly to you all. You don't go through school and spend 12 years of your life or however many studying a topic only to turn around and graduate and do something that is completely unrelated to that topic. But in this sick capitalistic system, that's exactly what we do, right? I know brothers and sisters who have gotten their undergraduate and graduate degrees in accounting and now they're flight attendants or something random. The whole purpose that you pursue an academic path is to fulfill your life's purpose, your Nia. So if your Nia is generating, uh, uh, creating generational wealth rather, then of course you wanna study wealth. And once you've matriculated through an academic process, once you've gone through an academic process, you do something with that knowledge, all right? So that's what we mean when we say right knowledge. And this is knowledge that is free of miseducation as well. So the academic element is strengthened when you do the knowledge. And when we say do the knowledge, we're talking about studying for the purpose of using that knowledge rather than just consuming knowledge that's not important to you. It doesn't benefit you to know what celebrities do behind closed doors. So get rid of the gossip. All that worthless knowledge should be discarded in favor of acquiring right knowledge because as we always say, right knowledge corrects wrong behavior. 
So when we're talking about the academic disciplines, when we're talking about subjects that fall underneath the academic element, we're talking about geography, philosophy, mathematics, engineering, space sciences, philosophy, biology, all the sciences, all those academic fields. All right. So that's the academic element. And of course, we wrap the career up in that, too. So oftentimes you'll hear us say the career slash academic element. The resources element is the next element of your life. These include both your time and any physical medium of exchange that you use to achieve your life's mission. That could be money, that could be mineral wealth, that could be land resources, anything that you exchange so that you can achieve your life's mission. All right. The abundance or scarcity of your resources are determined by your level of discipline, focus, the clarity of your direction and your intent. I've always said this, don't just invest for the sake of investing, invest with a purpose, invest with a purpose. All right. It's important to understand that time is the only resource that's given to all of us by our creator. And so what you do with your time either gives honor to or disgraces your ancestors and our divinity. All right. So when we're talking about your time and we're talking about your money, invest with focus and use your time to honor your purpose, your Nia, your ancestors and your divinity. So when we're talking about the resources element, um, some subjects that fall underneath that field are always time mastery, but they can also include the following farming, real estate development, mining, entrepreneurship, manufacturing, commodity investing and cryptocurrency. Sidebar conversation. Cryptocurrency ain't going nowhere. So for those of you who are like, y'all shouldn't be investing in crypto and crypto is dead. Cryptocurrency is, is, is absolutely the future. There is no denying that. And what we're doing now is going through the nascent stages of widespread implementation of cryptocurrency. So that's just a sidebar conversation. It ain't going nowhere. Keep your head in the sand if you want to. And uh, you're going to miss one of the greatest revolutions in the resources elements in the history of mankind. But moving forward. <laughs> the relationships element relationships are how you relate to other physical beings in the world around you all right these relationships aren't just intimate relationships a lot of times when i say relationships element you immediately think of you know finding the right king or finding the right queen or the people that you're intimately involved with no i'm talking about the full circle friends relatives co-workers colleagues associates all those people lend their energy to you you pick up on their vibrations, which is why it's so important to surround yourself with the right people, which is why it's so important to practice entrepreneurship, to get yourself off that corporate plantation and around all those and from around all those albions with their negative energy. All right. So the entire universe is organized around relationships. I think it's important to meditate on that for a second. Positive relationships are life affirming. When you think about positive relationships in the universe, you think about the relationship uh, of, uh, of different parts of the environment with other parts of the environment. They call it symbiosis. You think about the relationship between the earth and the sun. You think about the relationship between our sun and the center of the galaxy, uh, the distance and the balance that's maintained. All those are life affirming. An inch to the left and an inch to the right. And life is wiped out. But just like those positive relationships have the power to produce life, negative relationships can be deadly. That's why it's critical for you to see the relationships around you for what they are and understand how they can help you or hurt you in pursuing your life's purpose. All right. So you should always be asking what your relationship with other people are like. Do you really even know them? What questions can you ask other people? to help you learn more about who they really are. Can you look at the relationships that they have with other people and learn something from that? Because chances are how they behave with other people and what they say about other people and how they talk about other people is how they're going to behave and talk about you. Think about what that other person has to gain from their relationship with you, right? Sometimes people are just around you to soak up some resources, soak up some energy, we call them energy vampires. You probably know of a few of them. Are they using you as a stepping stone to get somewhere else? If <laughs> if you live in my part of the world out here in Los Angeles, the answer is typically yeah. And most importantly, how does this relationship 
change you? Is this relationship changing you for better or for worse? All right. So it's important for you to think about your five elements and how they all relate to fulfilling your highest purpose. And in doing so, you can then seek out the information that's relevant to you and fast track your manifestation of your Nia. So I go a lot deeper into these topics. I know this is just a quick overview on the five elements of life. I go into these in our Keys to Black Consciousness work study course. You can take the course at your own pace. There are private podcasts and live streams and PDFs. Check it out, panafricanalliance.com forward slash VIP. And if you appreciate this recording, if you enjoyed this, if you learned something from it, leave a comment, share it, you know, all the, all the typical stuff. Help us get the word out, family, all right? So it is with much love that I say, a BB Fahudier. Peace. <laughs>